If you've noticed an increase in military aircraft flying over our skies and uniformed service members on island, then you are right. The reason they are here is to participate in the fifth exercise in the Valiant Shield series that began in 2006. U.S. 7th Fleet Deputy Commander Rear Admiral Russell Allen. Valiant Shield 2014 focuses on joint training among U.S. forces. It provides operational experience which enables real-world proficiency in sustaining joint forces through detecting, locating, tracking, and engaging units at sea, in the air, on land, and in cyberspace. The exercise has brought together an estimated 18,000 U.S. Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine Corps personnel, as well as two aircraft carriers, 19 surface ships, and more than 200 aircrafts to our island. Guam is one of the few places in the world that all four branches of the military can operate and perform an exercise of this magnitude. Our unique location allows for training across the spectrum as Valiant Shield focuses on integration of joint training among U.S. forces on land, sea, and space. According to Allen, the integrated training will help them test each force's ability to detect, track, and engage targets with live sensors and weapon systems. At the center of the exercise is the joint training concept, which seeks to improve the integration of air, land, maritime, space, and cyberspace forces. The integrated training during Valiant Shield enhances our joint ability to face current and emerging anti-access area denial challenges so that our forces will have the necessary freedom of action, freedom of action to conduct effective operations and to deter and, if necessary, defeat an adversary. Over the next eight days, they will hone their skills in operations like maritime interdiction, defensive counter-air, personnel recovery, intelligence, surveillance and recognizance, and anti-submarine warfare, with a focus on enhancing joint mission capabilities. Allen says they will work together as they capitalize on each branch's capabilities to vastly improve their ability as a whole. This means they will be able to respond to a wider array of missions than any singular force could accomplish. Training like this is absolutely invaluable. It provides the deterrence and stabilizing effects of an integrated force that is ready at the outset of a contingency without delays for buildups or extensive mission rehearsal. Allen says this exercise will refine the military's ability to respond to crisis across the spectrum of operations, from humanitarian assistance, disaster relief, and armed military combat. Simply stated, the experience gained through the Valiant Shield exercise will help provide the best possible support for allies, partners, and friends in the region. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovez.